What are we yeah. working with here? So, I always like to troll the spoons, but since there's two of us in the boat, we're gonna go a little bit slower. So all the old timers around here use the Suttons. These are the 70, 71s, and they're real thin, so I could go a little bit slower. I'm out here by myself. I'll run the Michigan Stingers. They're a little bit heavier. Um, the flutter lake. That's what we used last time. Yeah, that's These what I was deadly. getting all the big fish on last year. That's what I got the big walleye on this year. Nice. Elmer Hinkley. They're, they're similar to the Suttons, but I'll use a lot of the, the heavier stuff. And what are we running? Lead core? We'll run lead core out the sides. What depths do you think we're going to start? Um, somebody was out here, they took the temperature probe. It's like 70 degrees all the way down to 20 feet. So top 20 feet of the water column. We'll, we'll try and get to okay cool and we'll, we'll play it around from there and see what the fish are doing yeah if we don't hit trout we'll move in and we'll definitely hit bass but i think what we'll do is we'll troll down this shoreline and i could basically yeah look at that's a great wee line right there yeah i could stay this far away from the shore and we can be in 30 feet of water trolling but you could hit two or three feet of water beautiful throwing so we can cover everything beautiful we'll give it a shot see what yeah. happens all right let's do it so that big boy down there at 21 we got a pull about 18 with trout, I like to fish right above them a foot or two because trout like to hunt from underneath. So you never fish at the same depth that they're at. Always go a foot or two above them because they're sight feeders. They're, they're going to be looking up the whole time. Stay tuned. We're about to get bit real soon, folks. I feel it. You got it. Are you sure? Yeah. I'll get to the net in a minute. I'll get the net. Oh, see. Oh, Ooh, that's a nice. nice right. Get ready for that. Nope. Come around back. I got it. That looked like a nice brown, bro. Yeah, so probably four range. It's a beautiful fish. Beautiful brown. Alright, so what are we doing out here? Explain the process. What's, what's getting the fish to, to bite is something that we call force feeding. We run the baits up fast and they rise, and then you stop dead and you let them come down. And a lot of times they'll hit it on the drop. If they don't, you bring them back up and stop and let them drop. And you just keep repeating that process over and over again. So the trout, they like erratic actions, and that's how you get them to strike. And it's working so far, so we'll keep doing it. What spoons are we hitting them on today? We're hitting them on the Sutton 71s, the silver and the silver gold. Lead core with eight pound leader. Eight pound leader. We're on a lot of bait. We saw we saw a trout jump in the distance and we went right over yeah. it and then we hit that big one. That, that was probably the same fish because yep. he was up there feeding. They're all around, so there's, there's more out here. There's a couple big ones too. I've been seeing them on the sonar. You just gotta present it the right way that they want it. Beautiful. This is awesome. Look, I have a chauffeur too. <laughs> in my workout There. Oh, huge heck shakes. There you go. There you go. Oh. Big brown. Big brown. All right, we're coming up. Yes. Beautiful. That's good. Oh, God. Those are perfect. Excellent.
There you go. Well, we got into some nice fish. We got a stocky, high two, and a high three brown. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys.